All right, so what's going on here? This past spring semester, yeah, I had this terrible British literature course that had hours and hours of reading fucking King Lear, uh, Paradise Lost, uh, Canterbury Tales, all that shit. It's hours and hours and hours of reading that I didn't have, and I was desperate to find a way to get through it as fast as possible so I could get to the hundred other things I have to do that are way more important. So... I had read somewhere or saw something somewhere where the human mind can read a lot faster when words are giving one word at a time, essentially flashed in front of your face real quickly. So I thought, well, that can't be that hard to code. Just put them all on a list and run it through a loop, and it is that easy. Um, so I figured I would put this out there. Hopefully somebody in a similar situation can benefit from this. Uh, I am going to go over the code real quick, not in depth, just some of the basic stuff. So uh, there's only four options. You have TechF uh, for the file that you're using. This is the only required option for the script. Everything else will set the default. Uh, TechS is for speed, so how fast you want to read in words per minute. So it's real simple. You want to read it, the average 200, just put 200. If you want to read it, 400, then put 400 in, etc. The TechP option is really interesting. I like this one because I figured out that if you stop where you would naturally pause, like say periods, commas, question marks, exclamation points, semicolons, etc. It really helps with comprehension, but it does bring down the rate at which you can read, but it's a nice trade-off. So if you start reading at 800 words per minute, but you're pausing at like 0.4 uh, seconds every time that there's some special symbol, then it's going to bring your total rate down a good bit to like five, 600 words per minute, but it's worth it for the comprehension aspect and then the tech x option is really just for uh being in line with the whole unix philosophy so this could be piped a little easier all right uh let's see here uh this is the, the function this is the meat and potatoes but i'll get to that here in a second uh because the program actually starts down here uh it's just checking which options and arguments were given or not given and once it does that it sends it all to the reader function and this regex, this is the, whoa, what am I doing? This regex here, this is uh, looking for anything that ends in a period, uh, question mark, exclamation point, comma, semicolon, or colon. I'm probably missing one or two, whatever, not a big deal. Then here's the countdown timer. You see there it goes three, two, one. That's really necessary because if it just starts right away, it's a little overwhelming. You need that three seconds to really kind of prepare. And here's the loop. Um, this right here uh, controls uh, that scrolling bar text at the top which isn't really necessary some might find it even maybe a bit distracting I, I kind of like having it there though and then uh, here we are this is where the actual words get printed and then this uh, checks with the regex to see if there needs to be a pause or not and there's a quick little report at the end telling you how long it took you and then uh, when that's all done, it returns back down here and then it checks for the auto exit or not. And if there is no auto exit, you can choose to exit manually or most likely R to repeat over if you want. Now let me actually get into a terminal here. So you run it now with some goddamn... Oh, all right, so I name it Easy Reader because I have no imagination. And so let's give it a file. Um, I have a test file in here. This has some King Lear bullshit in it. And then we'll give a speed, let's say 500 words per minute, and a pause of, I like, 0.4 seconds. And we'll auto exit. And let me make this a little bit bigger. Well, hopefully this finds somebody out there who is in a similar situation and is looking for a way to kind of cut corners and get through some god-awful reading as fast as possible. Uh, thanks for watching.